I am super pumped to be showing you guys some tips, tricks and hidden features that I found on the Samsung Z Flip. I've been testing out every feature this puppy has to offer, from the mini cover screen to the cameras, folding mode and so much more. But also, stay until the end because I have some free Z Flip wallpapers for you guys. So let's get into it. By now you guys may have seen the mini screen on the Z Flip and there is actually so much you can do within this little screen. So starting off, if you double tap the fingerprint sensor, it engages the selfie cam and just like that you can check yourself out in that tiny little screen. And then of course to snap your selfie, all you do is you click on the volume up button or the volume down button, whichever one you choose and it'll snap your pic. Then what's really cool is if you tap on the mini screen, it changes between the various lenses. So if you want to take a selfie with a couple of people or just just yourself, tap on the screen to choose the best lens that suits your pet. What's really nice about this is your selfies are quality because obviously it's using those back camera lenses to take your selfies. And then once you're all done, you can open up your gallery and check out all your beautiful selfies you just took using those various lenses and a mini screen. Okay, so did you guys know that if you open up your Z Flip and head on over to the camera application, in the top right hand corner, you'll see this tiny little icon. And if you tap on that, it'll actually change the cover screen into a tiny preview window. So next time you're taking pictures of someone or a group of people, they can check themselves out in this window and post the perfect shot. While the Z Flip is closed, you can still take selfies using voice activation. Just make sure in settings this is toggled on, but then all you do is you head on over to selfie mode by double clicking on the fingerprint sensor, and then all you do is say something like smile or cheese, and automatically it'll take a pic. Pretty cool. Now this one is for all my music lovers out there and if you open up your Z Flip and head on over to Spotify to jam your favorite tunes, once you click play, you can go ahead and close your Z Flip but still be able to control your music. So all you do is swipe left on the mini screen and like that you have all the controllers to control your music. You can either skip forward a song, skip back a song, pause or play your music. You can also control the volume of course by using the volume toggles. And then if you want to go back to the normal display, just swipe right on the mini screen or left to get back to your music controls. Then here's something you may not have known about your Z Flip and that is answering calls. So when someone phones you, you actually get this little notification in the preview window and you just click on that green icon and then swipe it over to the right hand side and automatically it answers the call and it puts it on speaker mode. So you can have your entire conversation just like this without having to open your phone once. Now that's convenient. <laughs> Then if you have yourself a pair of Galaxy Buds or Galaxy Buds Plus, you can actually charge them using your Z Flip, which is super epic. So of course, all you do is you grab your phone, open it up, and then you're going to have to enable the wireless power share. So all you do to do that is pull down on the notifications panel, and then right over here, you will see the wireless power share option. Just tap on it to toggle it on. It'll just give you some information on how wireless power share works. Then close your Z Flip and place it face down. Make sure to do this because it'll not charge your buds the other way around. And and then of course just gently place them down on the back of your phone and bam just like that it starts charging them. I also tried it with the case open just to see if it would still charge them and it does which is also pretty nifty. And don't forget guys this also applies for other devices. Wireless power share is basically a wireless charger. Possibly one of my favorite features of the Z Flip is all these notifications you get in the mini window. If you swipe right on the time, you will see all the notifications and you can tap on each one. So here I've received a WhatsApp. If I tap on it, it tells me to open up my Z Flip and just like that, it'll go straight to the app and show me the message. I can then respond super fast. So the app continuity is really good. And again, I just love that you get these little notifications. Likewise, if you set a timer, I just set one for seven seconds. And then once you start the timer, go ahead and close your Z Flip because you'll get a vibration and notification in this mini window when the timer is up. And of course, to turn it off, you just swipe the little X to the left hand side and the timer will go off. And then the same applies when receiving phone calls. You'll get this little notification and if you tap on it, you can choose to either answer or decline the call. 
then when it comes to the cameras and various modes on the Z Flip, you can do a couple of different things. So just by slightly bending your Z Flip and placing it on a tabletop, it automatically shifts the view to the top and all the controls to the bottom. And then just by showing your palm, it starts a timer to take your pick. What you can also do is change the aspect ratio just by clicking on that icon and then toggle between a one by one aspect ratio or 16 by nine. But as you can see, by having the settings on the bottom of the phone, it makes life so much easier controlling things, especially when sitting on a tabletop like this. And then of course, also don't forget, you can completely adjust your camera angle by adjusting your Z Flip. I honestly love the way they did this and I think it is so smart. This feature also applies when opening up your gallery. So you just go ahead and find whatever picture you want, but then again, when you go ahead and fold your Z Flip, the image automatically pops to the top of the screen and now the bottom side almost acts like a trackpad. What's also cool is you can also make some extra adjustments in settings if you don't want the screen to work like this when folding. Then single take is a brand new mode that Samsung introduced and this one is rather amazing. All you do once in single take mode is click on the button to start recording your video and it'll take a 15 second video clip. So you can do this when at a football match or a concert, you name it. But then once you're finished recording, it'll automatically create this entire gallery of still images that it captured, quick videos that it captured, and it'll put filters on, show you the best picture. It's kind of mind blowing. Then I'm sure you guys saw this one coming and that's split screening on the Z Flip. It is so next level. So if you open up the YouTube app to find the video you want to watch, but then click on this little button in the left hand corner, it'll open up all your most recent apps. Then all you do is click on the little YouTube icon and you will see the option to open in split screen view. Tap on that and then go ahead and select your second application. So I decided to use WhatsApp while watching YouTube. And then of course, to get the absolute most out of your device, give it a fold and place it on a tabletop. And now you have the perfect little multitasking split screening setup you could imagine. Using your Z Flip device like this can become quite addictive. And I promise you, you're not gonna wanna go back to a normal phone after using it like this. There are so many applications you can use with this split screen, which of course is great. Like calculator and notes, even the Play Store and Google Chrome or Spotify and your gallery. The options are endless. Obviously, with this epic form factor, it makes using apps a lot more fun and easy. Like sending emails, for example. You just open up your phone, head over to the Gmail application, then compose a new email, and now you're gonna fold your phone and then pop it on the top of a table, and you have the cutest little mini laptop. You can tap your mails away. I mean, this is like magic. Another really cool feature is being able to have video calls without using your hands or even a stand. You can literally just pop it on a table like this, angle the camera however you want, and then have a quick chat. Now that's pretty nifty. When charging your Z Flip, it also conveniently shows the percentage in the little mini window, as well as how long it's gonna take to fully charge your phone. If at any point you wanna check the time, then you just click on the fingerprint sensor to get the time, and then it'll automatically go back to showing you how long until it's fully charged. The Z Flip is also compatible with wireless charging, which makes life so much more convenient, and I also tested it with the Z Flip closed and opened. It works every time. Then finally guys, I made you these crispy, creative wallpapers for your Z Flip that really accentuate that fold beautifully. You can download them for free from our website, hailsworld.com. I'll have a link down below. But once you've downloaded your favorite one, set it as your wallpaper. And then in some cases, depending on how your grid layout is on your home screen, you might have to move some applications around. But that's what I really like about these is like I said, it accentuates the fold beautifully. And then you can have some apps on the top or the bottom. Then once all of that is done, in joy and have a little giggle every time you fold your Z Flip. I really had a lot of fun creating these wallpapers and coming up with different ideas for the fold. So I really hope you guys enjoy them and let me know down in the comment section which is your favorite one. I personally love the ring binding one. I think that's my favorite and I just can't stop staring at it every time I fold my phone. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!